Okay, in this video we're going to teach you guys how to add job notes to your mobile device, your PPW, and we're also going to teach you how to add bids to the bids and completion section. So, of course, you'd log in. So I'll just log into the community queue, okay? You always want to make sure that you refresh your queue. You should do this daily to make sure that your queue is up to date and that everything that's in there is accurate because as work orders start getting canceled, we start to see different things going on in the queue. So I'll just take this work order as an example. You're gonna click on it with your thumb. Okay, this is the check-in, that's the check-in list. This is sync. So you're gonna wanna scroll all the way down and you're gonna wanna hit notes and then you're gonna wanna hit at the very bottom, add job note. You're gonna click on choose one so you go to work order and then contacts. You always wanna include the office staff so that everybody is on the same page and yourself as well so you have a copy of what you sent over. We all work together as a cohesive unit. And then you can start putting in your property condition report. And you can just add your notes here. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that your bids include the location of the information that you're bidding on. Say, for example, you're bidding to install 10 linear feet of gutters and you're also bidding to install 8 linear feet of a downspout extender. So you would want to put that information right in here. So I'll just put it in real quick. So what this does is this actually does several things. It explains to the office staff exactly what you're bidding on. You have your measurements and you have the exact location of what you're bidding on. So the office staff doesn't have to play the guessing game. You would take your reminder date, your reminder time, and then you would save it. And then as you can see, everybody that it went to and that it saved inside of here. So that's one way of adding your property condition report is through job notes. There's another way to add property condition reports. You can go to the bids and completion section, which is right here next to photos. Go down here, click on it, and you can click down here, bottom left-hand corner, add bid, and then you can go to item description, choose one, and there's different ones that are already in here. I like to freestyle my bids because I feel like the magic is in the details. The more detailed your bid is, the more likely it is that we're actually going to get that work. Uh, another thing that I do when I'm um, doing these is I will uh, speak into my phone and I will use the voice so that I'm working effectively and efficiently. So I'll just use an example of this. Bid to install 10 linear feet of gutter on the front left-hand side of the property. Also bid to install 8 linear feet of downspout extender on the front left-hand side of the property to divert water away from the property. So as you can see, this is a very, very detailed bid. I'm telling you everything that it needs. And then you can continue to add other bids. So then I would say the quantity is 10. You can pick your own pricing if you want to. That way we're not wasting time and we know already in advance what you're expecting off of the job. You can add additional comments here.
and then you're just gonna hit save. Now you can see that the bid is in there. You've got the price, you've got the quantity, and you've got the description. What's really important for you to remember is that the magic is in the details. The more detailed your property condition report is, the more likely it is that we're going to be able to get additional work at the property. And it's also a requirement. So if you go here and you click on the work order details and you scroll down, okay, this is the grass cut. You click on that, it's a pop-up menu. You'll see the item detail and you see that it's fully detailed in here. Everything that the client is expecting when you go to this work order, what they want. Okay, and then if you go down a little further, you click on view, bam, another pop-up menu, and these are the required address photos. This lets the, the, the client know exactly where we were at and exactly what we were doing. Then you've got this one, the full property condition report, so that you don't miss any pictures. Again, the magic is in the details. And then this is extremely important, ICC, which means in conveyance condition, bids required. Click on here. Again, subcontractors are required to report and provide accurate bids on all ICC issues. Failure to do so could lead to loss of work, at cost work, and or chargebacks, plumbing damage, mold, discoloration, debris, unsecured windows or doors, roof damage, flood damage, electrical damage. Posted violations must all be reported and bidded on. So this is something that's extremely important and this is how you're going to generate additional work at the property. One other thing I want to show you is how to get to photos. So you click on here, okay, and you can go in here and you can see all of your unflagged photos. There's no photos in here because I haven't taken any pictures, but as you can see, you have access to your photos so you can check your photos to ensure that you have all of the photos that you need prior to you sending them over. Now at the bottom right hand corner is where you click on that and that is going to allow you to, to actually take the photo. And then if you want to come out of there, over here you hit this X, bam, you're out of there. Top left hand corner, click the arrow, you're out of there. You want to come out of the work order, bam. You want to go back in the work order. When you're done completing your work, you want to hit the check-in. It's going to ask you for the check-in list, which is just a series of questions that allows the client to learn more information about the property. And then you would sync over your photos and then you would let the office staff know, hey, Richard, hey, Melissa, I'm all set with this work order. Please send it over to the team to process it. Very simple process. Please reach out to the office staff if you have any other questions or concerns about how to add job notes or bids to the mobile device for PPW. Thank you for watching.